Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video. And in this video, I will solve a really simple problem that you are having. The problem is pretty simple, you want to stand out in your resume. How can you do that? By adding really fine project, the project which impresses everybody. But these days, if you put up, I built a Netflix clone, I built an Amazon clone, these are getting pretty generic, all thanks to the so many of the YouTube YouTubers who are putting up these, uh, all these content. They were put out with a great intention that people will learn the things, but instead of they just are copying and pasting the stuff. So in this video, I will walk you through one such resource absolutely for free. Although this resource was not intention to be designed to be used in this way, but we are just hacking our own way to actually use this resource in our own benefit. Now, what's the problem statement again? We want to stand out, we want to make great resume and great projects, but the problem is, when you are just getting started, you don't know to how much extent a project should go. For example, if you want to build something like a blog app, I don't know to what extent I should be creating a blog app. Is the listing of all the blog articles okay? Should I be putting up the categories as well? How much work should I do in the categories? How much work should I do in filtering? Should I implement the search as well? How the search page is going to look like? What all the pages I have to work on with? There are so many questions and when you are just getting started, you don't know. You really want somebody to dictate you that, hey, these are all the features that you should work and this is going to be called as a really good project. And on top of that, then there is a segregation of the front-end engineers as well as for the back-end engineers. In this video, the front-end engineers that I'm targeting are React developers and Next.js developer. And for the back-end, feel free to pick up any stack that you like. Maybe Next.js, maybe Pure, Express, Mongoose, maybe Spring Boot, whatever you like, you can just pick up with that. Now, in the front end also, at first, you might think like, hey, this is really not the way I want to go, but just wait till I download the project and install it, and then you'll realize, oh, there is so much more work that I have to do, and this work is exciting, and I can just make it stand out. Nobody's going to do this uh, as of now, and even if they do it, there is no solution online. So the way how you will be doing it, that's exactly going to be your way of doing the project. So let me walk you through with that. So all you have to do for this is go on to device.com and create a simple account. It's all free. And by the way, no, we are not going to be giving them any Figma plugins or a Figma design or something. We are going to be using it in a little bit of a different way. Let me just go ahead and click a sign in. And as soon as you do sign in, I have to sign in with my Google account. Okay, that's nice pretty fast. Now, in this, just simply go ahead and create, click on the new application. We will be selecting uh, the second option, which is uh, pick up from the templates. So let's go ahead and click on the pick up from the templates. Now you'll see a lot of mobile screens. What we are interested in this is at the very top, select the templates, click on the web. This is where uh, things get interesting. And on this side, let me just move this a little bit here and a little bit here. Now on this portion, you'll see that we have so many of these applications on different, different resources. For example, uh, we have Educacy, an online course, we have News Blog, we have Blog App, we have Oracle, Fudio, there is so much. But it's, I'm not saying just download it and say that, hey, I built this project. No, because you cannot, you have to work more on it. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. Uh, let's pick any one of them. Let's pick this News Blog. And this is whole how the News Blog will look like. Uh, this is my homepage. This is how the home page will look like. This is how the search page will look like. It will have the category and stuff. This is how the subscribe page will look like. This is how a single blog will look like. This is how the all blog page look like. Given the fact that they have uh, sorted the design part for us, that what I have to all work. But now, if I click on use this template, and then we have, we have to select what you want to call this application. I want to call this one as uh, news blog and react, of course. And I'll choose JavaScript for this one. No particular reason. You can feel free to choose TypeScript as well. And click on the Create app. Now, as soon as I create this app, it will try to convert this template into the React. Uh, it did it like ridiculously fast. And this is how it looks like. All right, looks good. And what I'm interested in is this button which says Build the app. I'm not interested in changing the design, although you can, uh, but I'm not interested in that for this particular video. I'll click on the build app. 
Now, this is the point where you can learn something more. In pretty much all the companies, there is a design system, which is usually maintained by a couple of tools. Storybook is one such tool where you maintain the design system. In case you don't know about it, that's okay. We'll just continue with without Storybook. I'm not interested in the CRA. I'll go with the Vite because I love that. It's, it's really fast. And I'll click on the build. Now, couple of things. First, notice it says it uses Tailwind CSS. Okay, very modern. And uh, although they say npm start and npm install here, what I've personally noticed is if you use Yarn, that is way faster and way optimized for the applications which are generated by the device. Personal opinion, I found this way better, but if you want to go with npm, that's okay. These are just the tools. And we are on the 71%. I'm not going to even fast forward this. They are usually very fast in this one. Okay, told you. Leave the page, click on the leave. And now on the next one, we want to go in the code view. This is the most interesting part for me. And in the inside the code view, there is one button at the very bottom of it. I hope you can see this now. Sync or download the code. I want to click on this. No GitHub, no GitLab. Uh, sorry, thank you. Uh, we'll just go with the download. And I want to download the entire source code for this one. And I want to show you that what more you can do as a front end engineer. I'll just go in the test. Yeah, test folder is fine. And looks okay. Now let me open up the test folder and go back up here. News blog. There we go. Now let me fire up my VS code and tell you that what more you can actually do in this one because you might be thinking, hey, this is all good and this is all working. No, my friend, this is exactly where your skills actually comes up. Okay. We'll go with the yarn and we'll say yarn install. Let's go with this one. Hopefully. Now, before you go ahead and check out anything else, uh, let me show you that if you go ahead and check out the package.json, there are so many packages like React Router DOM, Hashlink, React Date Picker. All these things are pre-installed for me. I don't have to work too much on this, but still, uh, this entire platform is not yet ready. You have to make it ready. And this is one of the skills that you have to learn in this era of AI, where a lot of work is already done for you, but you have to do the fine tuning, the last fine tuning, and that is where the productivity lies. And if I go ahead and say, hey, I want to yarn run start, uh, the exact same thing, let's open this up, let's go on the full screen. Now this is where my application looks like. So it already by default looks great, uh, can impress anybody, but what's not going to impress is this application is not yet working. If I click on the health, health doesn't go anywhere. If I click on the login, login is going. But not the entertainment, not the live, they are not going anywhere. So where are my other pages? If I click on the search, oops, we ran out of the code. What happened in this one? This is where your front-end skills actually come. And all you have to do is make this project absolutely ready. If there are some things like which are not aligning properly or something, you have to fix them. This is way how you go for it. If I go ahead and click on login, uh, we can see uh, it's working good, but not that great. We have to do some fixes on this. And this is exactly where the AI is not that amazing, but it has done so much job for you. Let me show you one more thing into this one. Let's go back into the code part. Let's try to understand the code written by the AI. It's almost like we are trying to understand the code which somebody else has written, kind of an open source world. So let's go into the source and we have so many things, assets, model, pages, and all these things. One thing which is interesting is route.jsx. So routing is already done for you, but notice here, we have the subscribe, we have a single blog, we have an all blog, we have login register. What happens if I go onto this all blog? Let's see if this is there. So, there is no link or button right now to go onto this one, neither onto the home page. So I have to fix this. And let's go ahead and see what happens when I go ahead and type all blog. So there is a page for all the blogs, but it's not working. I need to use some of the dummy data or I have to somehow fix this. So notice here, a lot of work is already done for you, but now you have to do the final touches and final finishes. And I don't think there is any other good way to learn and brush up your skills. Your manual labor is already being done. Now you're working on just polishing the stuff. And I think this is the best way to learn the things on the go. And a lot of time, this is kind of exactly work that you do in the corporate as well. There are other people who have written the code, but there are some bugs or issues, some tickets are being allotted to you that, hey, uh, you know what? The homepage link is not working or the single blog page is not working. You have to fix them. This is exactly the corporate work that you're looking for. And we are not paying anything for this one. We just hack the way 
although this was intended, the product was intended that you supply them uh, your Figma designs and they try to just generate the code, they are doing their job best, but not AI is not replacing you. So just go ahead and work with that. So all block filters, all these things are there. A lot of code is written for you, models and pop-ups and whatnot. But if you really want to taste that how a real world application is being built, this is how they are built. And now if you will make this application entirely polished and workable, that means there is no way that anybody is going to doubt your skills that, hey, you cannot work on the front end. And similarly for the backend people, if this kind of a front end template is being given to you, you work on your backend part, design the models for you. What are all the features which are required? How a front end guy will apply? What happens when I click on login? If I click on the register, what all the fields I'm taking? This is was the problem statement. So now you have to save in your user model the name, the email, the passwords, and register them. At the login time, you have to work somehow that user will enter their email and password. You have to work with remember me, you have to work with forgot password, all these things that you have to work on. And this is just the tip, tip of the iceberg. By the way, I can go back into the all apps and I can just select again new from the templates and let's drag and drop for the web. There are so many. If you want to practice that, hey, I want to build a project which nobody has built yet. I'll be working on the EdTech platform, maybe an e-commerce platform. Just go ahead and look on this. All the things. In this one, you have to work on implementation of Google as well, uh, Google login. And this is the UI. So I'm not worried about the UI. I'm more worried about how can I make this filtration work? High school, college, compute, all the data is for me. And if somebody shows that, hey, I worked on the project and this is how the project looks like, I think you automatically stand out than those generic uh, Netflix and Amazon clothes. This is how the real world industry works. So I think if you have enough time, you have done with the React course, by the way, the playlist is also available on the channel, push yourself for something which is for which the solution is not yet available. If the solution is there, you'll be copy pasting the solution. But if you really want to push yourself and really want to learn the code, this is the way how you do it not just by following. Following the people on YouTube and everything is good, but you have to someday work on the application all alone, without the support, without the YouTuber, without the mentor. And this is where you truly learn programming. So go ahead, there are amazing templates, uh, although they were meant for the different stuff, but we actually hacked it away to learn and enhance our skills. So whether you are a React developer or a Next.js developer, if you're a Next.js developer, hey, this is all React code. Try to import that into Next.js and fix it up. If you are a React developer, fix the application. I think that's the best way to learn. So a small hack to increase your portfolio and make sure that your portfolio is standing out and is looking like a ready for corporate, not those generic YouTube uh, uh, resume. So that's it for this video. I hope this uh, insight and this small trick has is going to help you to learn more about how to make uh, how to make a standout resume. Uh, really small and amazing trick. That's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed this. And by the way, if you are not yet following, there is another AWS series going on in the channel. Learn about the cloud and all these stuff. And I'll surely catch you up in the next video.